Here we have a problem to look at under electrostatic force. And here is a problem. Two equal and similar charges, 3 cm apart in air, repair each other with a force equivalent of 1.5 kg. Find the charges in column. Take G as acceleration due to gravity as 10 meters per second square, 1 over 4 pi A naught as 9 times 10 raised to power 9. Remember, this is a constant and the value is given. So like I always say, you need to analyze what is this problem all about. The problem is all about calculating the charges. And the question says two equal and similar charges. So it means they are like charges. So let's... The charges be Q1 and Q2. And since they are equal, we can say that Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q. And this is what we are looking for. And the distance separating the charges, this is Q. Is another Q separated by 3 cm. So it means that R is given as 3 cm. But remember, we cannot use this um, 3 cm. Why? It's not SI unit. So we need to convert. But I know some of you will be asking, how do you convert cm to meter? Like I always say, for you to convert from one unit to another, you need to know the relationship between the units. And the question is, are you converting from a small to a big unit or you big unit to a small unit? Once you know that you are converting from a small to a big unit, you divide. And when you are converting from a big to a small unit, you multiply. But let's know the relationship. We know that 1 meter is equivalent to 100 cm. So in this case, cm is smaller than meter. So we divide. So we simply divide 3 over 100 equal to 0 0.03 meters. So this is our R. So our R is 0 0.03 meters. And then the force, what we are given here is a mass. But what we do with the mass? The question is, we are supposed to, based on the formula, of Coulomb's law. What we need is force. So, we will know that force is equal to what? Mg. So, since the mass is given, we have 1.5 times 10. And that is the reason why the 10 is given. And this will give us 15 Newton. So, our force is given as 15 Newton. So we can now appeal to the formula. How do we, using Coulomb's law, that is F is equal to Q1, Q2 all over 4 pi E naught R square. That is a statement as the Ohm's law. But in this case, our Q1 is equivalent to Q2. If you like, we can say that F is equal to Q times Q all over 
4 pi e naught r square, which we can write this as q square, or q times q is q square, all over 4 pi e naught r square. This is the formula we'll be working with. So, remember, we can put this as 1 all over 4 pi, E naught times Q square all over R square. We can also put it in this form. And remember the value of this. We know force, we know this, we know this, so we can calculate Q square. So we can say that F, which is 15, is equal to 9 times 10 raised to the power 9 times Q square all over 0 0.03 squared. So with this, we can look for Q squared. So we can write this as 15 equal to 9 times 10 raised to the power 9 times Q square all over 0 0.0009. Is that right? That is what, if you square this, it will give you this. So with this, we can make Q square the subjects. If you like, you cross multiply. By saying that 15 times 0 0.0009 equal to 9 times 10 raised to the power 9 times Q square. So with this, we can divide both sides by 9 times 10 raised to the power 9. I will have a Q square to be equal to 15 times 0 0.009 divided by 9 times 10 raised to the power 9. And you can make Take the square root of this, square root of 15 times 10, 0 0.0009 divided by 9 times 10 raised to the power 9. So by the time you evaluate this, you get your answer. Get your answer, and your answer should be in columns. Please get your answer and let me know in the comment section. Thank you.